Hey YouTube, so I'm here in a 2011 E350 or just about any E-Class. I'm not sure the year models that this video will help, but I'll, I'll post that in the description. Um, I made this video for two reasons. Uh, one is, is that my scroll knob stopped working. Uh, which is common on the all Mercedes, it seems like, for about five years. Uh, Mercedes, I took this into the dealer, and it was covered under warranty, but they charged me, um, they would have charged me, billed me $1,000 to replace this, uh, which I think is ridiculous, being that you can get this aftermarket scroll uh, knob for about 200 bucks. Um, this whole process takes about... 15 minutes um, if you're a do-it-yourself or relatively handy uh, I there are no videos in English which is partially the reason I made this video but then it does there are no videos really addressing how to fix the ashtray slash cup holder console uh, what happened with mine is after the dealer fixed this knob um, they actually broke this and so I think they may have dropped it, and I'll discuss that later in the video. But what had happened is that this second piece of door wasn't closing. And the reason it wasn't closing is because there are two arms on this front door that catch this door and pull it down into place. This door operates on a cantilever, and these two arms are spring-loaded. And effectively what happened is because they dropped it, this arm wasn't catching, and so the door just slid open and I'll post that later in the video and you'll see that. So what I wanted to talk about is really how to disassemble this without breaking it, uh, partially because these parts are ridiculously expensive and then partially because nobody really even shows you. I looked for hours for a video that shows the disassembly of this particular model of car and <laughs> uh, I was hard pressed to find something. Um, so I'll talk about that. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do, um, if you're only repairing the knob, it's very easy to do and I've already taken out the screws because I'm working one-handed here. Um, the tools that you will need uh, effectively for this job are these three. You need a flathead, you need a Torx, and you'll need some kind of metal hook. Uh, this Torx, I don't recall what it is. Let me see here. It is a number five. Is that what it says? Number 15. So you'll need a you'll need a 15 and a small flathead screwdriver. First thing you want to do is you pop this open, um, you use this screwdriver and insert it in this little tab in the very back of the handle. Basically just push down and this pops right off. Super easy. And what that does is that allows room for this plastic cover here to come out because it's actually tucked under here pretty good and uh, it almost feels like it's going to break. It doesn't. Actually, all these pieces are on here in such a way that they feel like they're going to break. Um, they won't. Um, the only exception to that is this. This piece comes out relatively easy. I've seen videos where people use um, plastic, plastic sponges. Uh, or not plastic sponges, plastic pry bars. I did not buy one because I just didn't feel like I needed one. And uh, I, frankly, I didn't have time to wait. So, um, sorry about that. I had a call. Um, what did I use? I think I used my pocket knife. Give me one second. Let me go grab it. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. Got my pocket knife. Um, so what you're going to want to do is just lift up on the corner of this. And once you get it started, you can see it just pops right out. Super easy. Pop out here. It's four connectors. There is a connector under here. You're going to want to just go ahead and push in that little square. And this will pop right out. I'm all thumbs, and so I will require the use of a screwdriver to assist. this pretty did this pretty easily the other day there we go okay so that's out so this piece out so now you got a couple pieces out 
The next piece that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull up these side, these trim pieces. What you do is you just basically get your fingernail under here or your plastic pry bar if you so are desired to buy one and lift up and lift here. It snap, snaps here. There's a snap here, a snap here, and then it actually, see on the side here, it actually pushes inward into this. So you can just slide it forward. It's free. So you can see that hook there that I was talking about. And it's identical uh, move for the other side. Get out. There we go. Pop that out. And now for this one here, you're going to uh, lift up. There is a snap here, a snap here. And as I mentioned, it does feel like it's going to break, but I assure you it's not. So once you lift it up, once you lift these snaps out of their, their socket there, you're gonna pull the whole thing forward. And there are two hooks in the back here. And these two hooks um, effectively keep this thing in, in place pretty well. Um, it's hard to do one-handed, but you get the idea. So that's out. So there you go, that piece out. And now you have full access to your $1,000 control knob that you can buy for uh for 200 bucks so in order to get this control knob out you're going to have to remove four screws i've already removed four of them there's one here one here and they're identical on this side one's there i've already removed it the other there and the reason you need to remove these is because you've got to lift up the very front of this cup holder to access this screw down there so you'll remove this screw here this screw here and this screw here and this control knob will pop out and there is one wire harness underneath it similar to this you unplug it and voila you saved yourself uh, eight hundred dollars if you have a problem like I had where you have to repair the cup holder um, it's a little different procedure and I will go over that with you right now. So now that you have all these pieces off, it's not in vain because all these pieces do need to come out ridiculously enough to get this ashtray slash cup holder out. There's another piece that you can't see and nobody shows it to you on a video, but it is a plastic piece that goes underneath here. And it looks just like this. I've already removed it and you can see that there's a hook on the front of it so it effectively pulls down in the back which is why you need that hook and so if you can imagine this piece in place just like this pushed all the way up there's enough room for you to get this hook here behind it and what you do is you get this hook behind it and you just pull down and once you pull down you now have access to um, you now have access to these two Torx screws. There's a Torx screw getting a lot of glare from the sunlight. There is a Torx screw in this corner here, and there's a Torx screw in this corner here. You remove this Torx screw, and you remove this Torx screw. And once you remove that Torx screw, you can now, you can now um, lift this piece up and out. And so what it'll do is, is it snaps at the bottom um, and interestingly enough, I haven't actually had to do this. with the ashtray in because mine was broken. So, um, if I remember correctly, this just lifts right up and you can slide your hook underneath. And I will try to do that one-handed here. Let's see if I can hold the camera at the same time. There we go. And once you pull forward with that hook as I'm doing here this whole air control unit comes out 
And once you have this whole air control unit out, you can choose to disconnect it or toss it to the side here. Um, I don't really feel the need to disconnect it, so I'll put it to the side. As I mentioned, once you pull these four screws out, you're going to, this will now be free. And this is also connected by two wiring harnesses underneath. And I'm going to pull this out so you can see these two wiring harnesses. And there is one here. This is for the cigarette lighter. And there is one here, which is for a little LED light inside the box. And you can see they plug in here respectively, the blue here, the white for the cigarette lighter. And that is how you disassemble the center console to a E-Class 350. I hope this helps you. Uh, and uh, I will be discussing in uh, the second part of this video uh, how to repair the cup holder slash ashtray console. Um, assembly is uh, the reverse process of disassembly. Uh, good luck. I hope this video helps you and uh, save some money. Thanks for watching.